Why, hello, fellow space ranchers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included Volcanea, Episode 6, Planning a Ranch. All right, so we have two jumbo batteries. I should help out a little bit. And then once we start refining metal, uh, I can get a power control. And you guys say yes to Hassan. All right. Well, sir, you are gonna need a cot and a giveaway. Raffle timer's up. As far as priorities go, you're kind of an attacker. Uh, I don't really need to worry about you researching. So in fact, um, as far as priorities are, research everybody to disallowed except for Fangface. I'm just gonna have Fangface do it, at least for now. Uh, so you can build and dig. That's pretty much your purpose for now. And then tidy and store when nothing else is going on. Badger. Improve carry. Oh, and Hassan, you start with one. So we'll give you dig as well. Fall in a glitch's footsteps. So I'm just waiting on the um, refined metal for the power control station, which will allow us to tune up our generators. And I'm going to get rid of Badger's old generator because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to move it into the power station, which is really just the treadmill area. All right, there we go. There it is. Ooh, look at all the polluted water I've got. I am going to disable this pump down here because it, I think, has moved enough water for now that uh, the liquid reservoir is getting backed up. And, you know, it, it does cost power to keep that thing running, so it helps to, to shut it shut it down. The bristle blossoms look pretty good. They're doing okay. We are going to... Oh, no, we didn't brand out. Now, the other thing is, like, my kcals suck, even with the farmer's touch. So, I do see that my, um... That we're probably going to have to micro-mutch. Because I don't see a way around that. At least until we uh, catch back up with, um... With cooking or something. I might want to, uh... Set up one of my duplicates to... To, um, to learn how to cook. Stretch food. Who even liked it? So Fangface could, but that'd be weird for a researcher. Uh, let me take a look at their, um, their skills again. See if anyone has any... Okay, nobody has any proclivity towards it at all. Well, uh, Hassan, I might want to skill reset you for you to be a bit of a cook. Then. Although, you know, for now, I could just have, uh, just have Fangface do it. He had a free skill point, and I don't need to, to do anything for that to work. Because I don't even have research going on right now. So he'll start making us better food. So then the power control station allows us to, um, to tune up the power plants so that these manual generators generate more power with refined metals. So I'll make a few more refined metals to make sure that we have the materials for that. And this is officially a power plant, so the benefit of it being a power plant is it enables for the tune-ups. Which um, requires someone 
or specifically requires an electrical engineer, that would be Badger. Wondering if I can encourage Badger to do it now. I think so. No, no, you're using that. Okay, so if I set this to six and this to seven, you should tune up. Okay, kick owls are going back up a bit after some of the cooking, which is good. And then these berries are about to be harvested. Awesome. Dead Dodo, congratulations. You are hopefully not going to live up to your name. we go. Here's a power tune-up chip. How many of these things are you making? All of them? You will squeak in my honor. <laughs> Why, thanks. Things are a little bit more smooth. Cake house went up a lot. Now that we're actually cooking the berries, we're getting a lot more nutrients from it. And the farmer's touch is also helping a little bit as well. Um, water looks pretty good. Oh, earned something. It's not raw. Yeah, we actually cooked for the first time. It's a poor meal, not a terrible meal. So that's good for the stress. Backlog of uh, unsibbed, unfiltered waters we're getting through. That reservoir is uh, uh, slowly emptying out. And there should be enough room in the third reservoir for all that inflow. And then that's three reservoirs full of clean water, or hypothetically clean water, as long as it doesn't drip. I was a little worried about that because, you know, we had one instance of drippage. But once, before I uh, flip this signal switch, I'll, I'll save to make sure that we don't screw it all up. Uh, can manual generators be tuned up? I'm pretty sure they can. I just don't know why we're not. Um, skills. Oh, because we need... Uh, no, that's for rails. There we go. Badger's tuning it up now. I did nothing different, and it worked. <laughs> Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kick it out to you guys. What do you want me to build next? Suggest a goal. So Channel Point Redemptions for viewer submitted ideas is open. And uh, you can suggest, and keep it modest, you know, don't have it be like a, a super impossible to achieve type thing. But, uh... But yeah, feel free to suggest a goal. Uh, one thing I'm probably going to do while you have to suggest some things is to do carbon scanning. Um, I'm going to build a carbon skimmer down here where it's the most carbon pooling in this area here. So that we can start to uh, to get some cleaner air. And just like the bathroom, this is going to require clean water in, uh, pee water out.
Like that. Oh, I didn't want that to leak everywhere. I can always mop it. Dump it back back into the puddle. Because I don't want my carbon water or carbon skimmer to be swamped. Someone got a skill. Glitch. I am going to work on your carry rather than your construct. Breathability is a little low. I think breathability is low because it's a, a calculating all this area as well, which is not really where I typically breathe. But yeah, I'm going to want to increase breathability back up. And I didn't end up having to use the mush bar or make mush bars just yet, so that's that's good. Anyone know if blueprints carry across games? Um, I don't know. I've never played with blueprints. You mean the, like the um, the blueprints to unlock? I think they do, but you know, I could be wrong. It's a new feature for me. So stress zero, readability one hundred percent. Food is holding for now. Power looks okay. It is producing heat, which is going to be eventually a problem, but uh, one for future me to solve. And then we're working on the carbon carbon problem now. It's probably too deep to mop, but I'll spread it out and get it to mop soon. It's a lot of water, though. Yeah, so it's currently flooded, but working on it. All right, so here's some of the ideas that you guys had. Let me type them up. We have got coal power. Um, build bedrooms. Now I don't have um, the necessary material for actual proper bedrooms, but I could do individual barracks ready for comfortable beds for bedrooms. Explore biomes and search for, oh, hold up. I tabbed out and someone's already trapped. You're free! Still too much liquid. Um, all right, so back to typing up. So explore biomes for geysers. Uh, dig for oil. Set up a Draco farm. Draco farms are animals that you can farm for um, Fabrics and plastics. They're these guys. There you go. Thank you for uh, suggesting goals. And uh, curious what you guys have to vote. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll be able to mop it. Another arbor eight going. All right, carbon skimmer is skimming. We are going to remove this giant cloud of carbon dioxide and slowly replace it with something more breathable. At least that's the hope. These manual generators are tuned up, so they're producing 600 watts a piece instead of uh, 400. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I guess technically the batteries aren't full up. There we go. So we're still running on manual power.
Looking good. Have I? Do I know what that is? That looks new. Oops. Minor volcano. Yep, I didn't know about that. That is new. So we got hydrogen, minor volcano, and polluted oxygen all kind of on top of one another. Blueprints. Speaking of blueprints. Green pants. Okay, Dreco Farm. Uh, so, uh, Dreco Ranching. Boy, all right. So, how to make a proper Dreco Farm. Drecos replenish their scales, whether it's... Um, so, I'll, I'll talk. I'll back up a little bit. There's uh, multiple types of Drecolets. There's the uh, the standard regular ones that you can shear for textiles or fabric or whatever. I forget the technical term. And then they can also evolve to be glossy um, where you shear them for plastics. And it's a really... Um, it's a, the natural way to get plastics. The other way to get plastics is to uh, dig for oil, uh, process the oil into petroleum, process the petroleum to plastic. Uh, so Drecos offer a alternative path to plastic, as long as you don't need a whole lot of it, which I've used in the past. Uh, the trick with them is they want to eat millwood, which is fine, and uh, they regrow their scales in hydrogen. So what you need to do, and millwood uh, only wants to grow in oxygen, right? Atmosphere of oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide. So the trick is to have millwood available for them to eat, but then also... Um, have them mostly be in a hydrogenated environment uh, so that you can um, you can shear them and then they regrow their scales so there's actually a point. If you just wanted to like farm, if you just wanted to ranch for meat, um, you would do like hatches and feed hatches, you know, whatever, like sedimentary or, you know, sandstone or something like that and then just kill them off when they reproduce. Uh, these guys. These guys are good to make. You can ranch, you know, a whole bunch of different types of creatures. So regular hatch uh, will eat, you know, this diet and produce coal. So if you wanted to make a hatch ranch for coal, you can do that. You can also try to, you know, every animal has its own sort of like production. So they can level up or they can evolve rather to um, to sage. So there is one sage egg that I have right here. So sage is, you know, eat slime and make it Nicole, so on and so forth. Um, all right, but back to my point, uh, for us to design a Dreco ranch that works properly, um, it is a little tricky because keeping the Drecos in a, a hydrogen environment requires like water locks and stuff, and I'm sure I'm going to screw it up the first time I try to design it, but, uh, but I'm down to try. I've built them before, but they're they're a little tricky, and also um, working with like a huge expanse of hydrogen is a little tricky too. So, uh, design a Dreco ranch. There's also some other things that we might want first. So, taking a look, if we are going to be often in a hydrogen environment, it's gonna help for us to have like suits to protect us from the environment, because otherwise it's gonna be really hard to work. So we're going to want some sort of suit dock, an Atmo suit dock, uh, because our duplicates aren't going to be able to work in a hydrogen environment holding the breath, trying to shear Drecos, because they're just going to run out of breath. So there's a, a fair bit of research to go into it. So get the research for a Dreco. Isn't there a simpler solution with masks? Yeah, yeah, you can have oxygen mask station too. I think either way that is um uh that would be here, this mask door. The the masks, however, when did they outgas? 
I forget. I remember, like, at least when they first released masks, that you breathe in oxygen, but you are, are outgassing carbon dioxide anyway into your environment. But I don't know if that's the case. Because that would be a, a design consideration to, to have to conform to. The shearing is always better when the farmer is crying. Oh, man. So down here, the previously very not breathable environment is slowly becoming slightly more breathing, breathable, which is good. And we're just dumping all the all the mopped water back sort of into the polluted puddle. Automation and ranching also works really well together. Exactly, yeah. So that's the automation of the, um, God, where is it? It's been so long. Because, yeah, I have a, I have like a, a frame of reference of the last, like, high, high complex Dreco ranch I've set up. And that would be like auto sweepers and smart storage um, and solid transport and things like that. So I'll probably get all of that. If we're going to make a Drecker Ranch, I'm going to go whole hog, but it's going to take me a long time because it's a big project. So... Back to what I was saying, let's go ahead and get smart storage and uh, advanced power regulation and solid transport. So the smart storage, auto sweepers allow you to like move items around. The concept is um, uh, for your Drecker ranches, they are going to be laying eggs um, and you don't rant. You, you want to keep the, the population of the ranch control, so you're going to want to be able to control the eggs. You're also going to want to supply... Uh, fertilizer and things like that to your millwood so that you don't have to manually do it. Um, so that's another thing that you're going to want an auto sweeper for to do the automatic supply and then uh, being able to, to move the, the resources around as well is really, really handy. So I'll just get that ahead of time. As far as a ranch goes, maybe above the farm would be a decent spot. Um, hydrogen is a light gas, so it does rise to the top. Uh, so, like, this area, I guess, would be okay. Oh, boy. What a, what a project to be, to be encouraged to do. But here is the oxygen mask checkpoint. So, marks the threshold where duplicates uh, put on an oxygen mask. Must be built next to an oxygen mask door. Can't be rotated, and the awesome max door. Got it. Uh, that also means that we're going to need to like uh, gas pump and filter out to make sure that oxygen is going to the mask door. But the, but you know that's easier than an atmos suit certainly. Um. Okay. So I'm just trying to think of how I want to design this. Yeah, I should, uh, you're, you're right, I should have uh, airflow tiles here to not to catch the carbon dioxide in this area, so it can be properly skimmed. The skimmer has mostly skimmed all the carbon dioxide, though, if we take a look at the gas. There's a little bit of gas that hasn't reached it here. I mean, I could um, airflow tile like this, and then, um, and then dig out the copper so that the, the carbon dioxide can free flow. Uh, but back on task. So if I wanted a Drecker Ranch, the... So the entryway to the Drecker Ranch could just be Mealwood, right? So I'm just going to rough this out as a, as a proof of concept. So let's say we have some Mealwood, and then 
this here is going to be some sort of water lock. Well, that's not even where it's supposed to be, but, um, because I believe Drekos can traverse water locks, correct? That they have no issues with that specifically. So let's say we have some sort of water lock here. Man, I keep drawing in the wrong spot. Right, so let's say we have a water lock in like this spot here, and then the rest of the ranch would be sort of more up this way, up to maximum size, and hypothetically full of um, hydrogen. So the idea is that you have two separated chambers, well, not like this, because this won't work, but two separated chambers where um, you have the mealwood growing in an oxygen environment, and then the Drekos have a water lock access to a hydrogen environment where they spend most of their time in the hydrogen, allowing you to uh, regrow their scales. That, that's at least the sort of the proof of concept. Uh, but I'm probably not going to build it right up against the farm because that doesn't allow me a lot of um, flexibility in terms of like design area, etc. We could also do the shearing in the oxygen part, and maybe that's what I will do for the first iteration. For the first version of it, just to make it a little easier on myself. So, I'm going to research ranching then. And have, like, a not-so-automated uh, setup for it. But we can always uh, change the design later on to make it take advantage of higher tech. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. plants do you need for Dreco? Um, I think it's roughly like a one-to-one. -one. I don't know exactly. You'd have to look that up of how often they need to eat. It also depends on like crop tending, I suspect. Some other factors to make sure that they're always growing. But I have plenty of millwood seed, so that, that's good. Um, I could even, well, you know, my food is looking pretty awesome right now, so I don't really need to worry about necessarily planting the millwood early. But, um, you know. Alright, so the water lock. So I want a water lock kind of like this. Uh, question is do I want to block that off? Yeah, I guess I will. Otherwise, I need it to be higher. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I don't have any, like, Vazagel or whatever it's called, so... Uh, water locks are going to have to be primitive. I'm just brainstorming um, the right spot for it. So if I put it here, then I block access to the other half of the hallway. So maybe not like that. I'll just dig this out first and then, then sort of decide. Or it will collapse and dig for me.
probably too large. But I'll tinker with it. Very rough idea. Oh, a raw egg. Well, let's not waste that. Make omelets. It's so a raw egg hatch because we were putting, I'm guessing, hatch eggs in our storage bins and uh, hatches can't, you know, hatch in a storage bin, so it died or whatever. And as a result, uh, gave us a raw egg. Without an egg cracker. Magic. I like how uh, Badger tuned one up and then decided to run on the untuned one. There you go. Now, now you're getting a little bit more power, bang for your buck. Uh, so the research for ranching is done. Hmm. I think I am maybe not going to bother with uh, more efficient storage. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this simple. Uh, for the first iteration. So I might be done with research for now. I'll just do artistic expression and then call it good. The other thing that's going to be a little tricky is actually getting the directors themselves, you know, and getting them to where they need to be. Because they're in, like, chlorine environments and not necessarily easy to get to without, you know, exposing the base to noxious gases. So I'm going to need some sort of water lock to even get out to them. But, like, this egg enough, you know. If this one's elderly. Oh, there we go. Natural gas geyser. And there's another one up here. So there's, there's a few around that we can try to fetch once we're ready. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Something boring. Or maybe... Yeah. No, something boring. So one thing that I don't have incorporated in here is a shearing station. There's no space for it, so I'll have to uh, change this a little bit to accommodate a shearing station. Unless I want the shearing station to actually be inside the... Um, uh, hydrogen environment, which you probably don't, just for simplicity's sake. But how big is this room? 71? Okay. Yeah, I, that's manageable. So stables have to be below 96. So I'm going to remove the, the what the water lock was going to be, put the shearing station in next to here, which is still going to be an oxygen environment, and then I won't really need to worry too much about... Uh, about uh, mask or anything like that. Keeping it simple.
I might want to incorporate grooming station area as well. Just thought about that. Yeah, and the water lock is higher than it needs to be. Because it could be down there. Fixing that as well. But yeah, let's put in a, um, the grooming and cheering together. Try to make it nice. Little Dreco Resort. So this needs to get... Yeah, let's dig this up and move it over. And then I'm sure I'm going to have to, like, uh, fill it in with a bunch of filler so it doesn't exceed max size. Right? Yeah, they can climb it too high. All the glitch is gonna get stuck. Holding your breath, we're getting you out of there. I think this is what uh, Tumbling Satellite warned me about. About to not be trapped, though. So I'm sure this exceeds the, the max size, but uh, as I said, I'll just fill it in so that it uh, it's better. Yeah, it's, it's only just barely over the max size, too. So right now it is 99 needs to be down to 96. Maybe I'll have a, I'll give them like um like jungle gym equipment <laughs> for fun. Because I care. Probably should get textile production if I'm going to bother getting the Drekos at all. It's kind of the point, right? Also... Not really sure why my cook decided to throw omelets everywhere on the floor when there's a refrigerator right next to the electric grill, but uh, noted. You are not to be trusted. Those are shoes, okay. You had me fooled. So I'm just gonna try to get this to be a proper um, stable, but uh, other other than that, I'm probably gonna be out of time. There we go. So we're one tile short of, a, of, of the stable requirement. And the eventual idea here is uh, just to spell it out. Have a bottle emptier here where we put liquid in there. Have this be a hydrogen environment so we eventually pump the gas out of here and replace it with hydrogen that we capture from either ambient hydrogen or the hydrogen vent that's down here. And then uh, uh, tame Drecos and stick them in here. Uh, in order to, like, initially tame them, I'm going to need to probably get rid of the grooming station temporarily so that we have a drop-off point, because I don't have space for a drop-off point. But that's sort of the idea behind the Draco Ranch, uh, where we have this, have Millwood, 
in an oxygen environment with the shearing station and the grooming station, and then this is a water lock that leads to a hydrogen spot. Um, all of this, of course, needs to get, like, cleaned up. But, uh, but that is, sadly, the, uh, all the time I've got. So I'm going to have to leave it off there. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included Volcanea, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow duplicants. 